Good afternoon all, it's quite a nice sunny day today and quite warm so this could come in handy. Uh, that's a bit weird, I haven't even opened it yet and uh, it's making a whirring noise. Let's open it up and see what eBay delight is inside. It's a humidifier fan and they did send pink so they must have got my message. Yes this is really very pink, in fact it looks like a sort of a set for, I don't know, making dollies cry or something but that's clearly for uh, squirting water into the humidifier chamber which I guess is that. It's a do-it-yourself, give-yourself Legionnaire's disease kit. Right, there's a little uh, stopper there to what looks like a tank with a hole in the top. So presumably you squirt water in. Uh, this bit comes off the top and that's quite flexible. So you can uh, squirt water into there. Uh, button here. That looks like uh, speed one. Speed two, which is quite fast. And off. And then on the back, there's a little battery compartment. Ah, 18650. Uh, on the side here there's a micro USB charge port and a little hole. Uh, the cell is also pink or kind of a pinky purple and uh, helpfully it says 18650 1200 milliamp hours which is quite believable really. Uh, what's the fan? It's a ZW178 2.8 watts uh, DC 5 volts. 5 volts? What really? They step the voltage up with a boost converter. What would be the point? Uh, DC 5 volts, 1000 milliamps, so 1 amp. Now I was thinking this thing might need deionized water or distilled water, but actually it said products are recommended to use pure water or tap water cannot be distilled water. Is that so that the thing clogs itself up uh, after one year and one day and then you have to go and buy a new one? Don't really know. Uh, for the first time before using this product, please full of electricity. Right, I've stuck some tap water in here and squirted some into the tank. And uh, I've been trying out this button and it seems you can uh, do the spray thing fairly independently of the fan. So if you press and hold, it starts spraying. And it seems to sort of spray for a while and then stop and then spray for a while and then stop and then you press and hold again and that stops. The fan is just a short press for one speed, two speed and off. So if you start the fan on one speed, press and hold, you can have fan with spray. And of course that disturbs the spray flow quite a lot. Let's turn the fan off and just have the spray. Let's listen to that. Yeah, atomizes that quite well. It's a very fine mist. It doesn't really make my hand wet. It would take a long time, I think, and a lot of spraying to actually start to get much moisture on there. So it's not pumping out a lot of water, but uh, my guess is that's some sort of piezoelectric thing. I don't know why it insists on turning on and off alternately. Maybe uh, you can't run that thing for, uh, all the time. Otherwise, it, I don't know, overheats? No, it wouldn't overheat, would it? It's got water in it. Right, time to uh, take it apart. So I'm going to have to empty the water back out into this bottle. No, that's not going to work. Uh, right, that's the tank drained. So now I need to take the battery cover off and take the battery out. And we got four screws. This was one of these uh, eBay sales where I bought it, assuming I'd get default colour. And then they sent me an email saying, um, thanks for buying it. What colour do you want? If you don't reply to us, we'll send you white. So I did reply, but I didn't think I'd replied very promptly, saying I wanted pink. And uh, lo and behold, pink's what I got. This uh, stand has a very smooth sort of friction action and I can see why now because there are some sort of nylon bushes in there. 
Uh, this is kind of coming apart, but there are some clips there, so I think I need to undo those as well. Uh, one there, oh, that suddenly went. Another one there. Don't really want to bend those so much that they break. But ah, there we are. That's all come apart. Ooh, what's that? Those are wires. Oh, those are the wires to the pizza element. Oh, I pulled those a bit hard. Right, what have we got on this circuit board? Quite a lot of stuff by the look of it. Let's bring that down a little bit. Um, the battery is protected by an 8205 MOSFET and a DW01 um, protection chip. So that's protected against going under voltage. So you're not going to take this cell uh, so low that it damages it. So that's all been thought out. Um, now, is that thing there a big MOSFET Q2? And is that driving the Pizzo? It's hard to say. Is that a microcontroller? Again, difficult to say because all the markings have been rubbed off it, but that makes sense. Uh, there's an inductor there. There's another one here. Maybe this is something to do with the Pizzo, this inductor. And this one perhaps is boost circuitry to generate 5 volts for the fan. I suppose we could look and see whether that is 5 volts. That'd be relatively easy to do. But I'm kind of intrigued by this... 8 pin chip up here by the um, USB in. Now is that um, a cell charger I see? Let's take a look at the number on that. So what is that? Is that an LP28058? Something like that? Or LP20058? Let's try and look that one up. Right, okay, this is uh, an LP28056 uh, by Power. And it's a 1.2 amp single chip lithium ion and lithium polymer charge with over voltage protection. The LP28056 is a complete constant current, constant voltage linear charger for single cell lithium ion batteries. Uh, v in over voltage protection, 6.5 volts, very low power dissipation, short circuit protection, programmable charge current up to 1.2 amps. Okay. Now I can't get this circuit board out without uh, re unsoldering the battery terminal connections because they're obviously pushed in uh, from the other side and then the circuit board is placed over them and then they're soldered in position so it would be quite difficult getting that out but I really do want to measure whether or not the um, uh, motor is being driven with 5 volts or 3.7 it kind of hints at 5 volts because uh, the motor itself uh, well, it said on the back of the case that it was a 5 volt motor. So let me see if I can get my probes in there. Now, of course, if I press this on to low speed, it's going to be pulse width modulated. So I'm going to have to hope that high speed actually runs it at 100%. Let's see what voltage we get. Uh, minus 8.5 volts. That's weird. That's very weird because um, I've got my red probe on the red wire. Minus 8.5 volts. Hmm. Well, that's what it says. So the colors of these wires are kind of the wrong way around. And they're driving the motor quite hard, boosting the battery voltage up to 8.5 volts. Very odd that they're the colors are back to front that's definitely red on the red wire yeah weird let's try it with the off obviously no volts and uh, that doesn't really tell you much minus 5.2 volts because that's obviously being pulse width modulated so they might be modulating that 8 volts or even a higher voltage um, at some sort of mark space ratio difficult to say without using an oscilloscope well, that's interesting. There's a couple of little blue LEDs marked LED 1 and LED 2 uh, above and below the switch. And if you press and hold it so that the uh, water spray would come on, they turn blue. I didn't see that uh, from the outside. They're not very bright. And press and hold it again and you can see them turn off. So you do have some sort of visual confirmation that the spray mechanism is either on or off. So that's quite neat. Uh, it's just they're not very bright. Just wondering actually if um, turning on the Pizzo atomizer is going to damage it without there being any water in it because that 
could make it get hot if it is water cooled so probably shouldn't do that. Uh, so the motor is a DC motor presumably because there's only two wires. I can't really tell if that's uh, brushless or not. Certainly the coils don't move. The uh, magnetic rotor moves around them. Does that mean it's brushless? Perhaps it does. Uh, so I'm quite liking this now because um, the uh, circuit seems to have all the elements of, well, quite a good design. Um, the atomizer doesn't chuck out a lot of water, but I suppose it's uh, a little extra thing if you're feeling very hot. And the fan does run at a fair old pace. In fact, I'm starting now to regret buying pink. I should have bought something a bit more sort of, I don't know, macho blue or something. But uh, yeah, this is quite a nice little thing. That could be quite handy for my travels. If I ever do do any traveling. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, thing back in. Maybe I can wedge that in just by bending that apart. Yeah, I'll give that a go. And uh, yeah, I can just see those blue LEDs now. They're not very bright, but they are there. So that's a good confirmation that you've enabled the, uh, the pizza. Uh, let's get these screws back in and uh, fill the water tank with water again. Ah, one thing I didn't check is the little light there next to this um, charge socket. I'm now thinking it's going to be a charge LED, maybe red for charging, green for full or something like that. Let's just give that a try by plugging it into a power bank. And uh, yes, certainly it is a charge indicator light, red for charging. Can't tell you yet what colour it goes when the battery is fully charged. Uh, that could take a while. Ah, here it is. It says charging indicator light off that full of electricity. So I guess that little red light just goes off uh, when it's fully charged. Charging time is about three to four hours. Right, let's check that this uh, spray atomizer thing is still going. Press it for blue. Oh yeah, that's working fine. Yeah, that's good. This is a good little fan. So this is the item on eBay. It's a mini rechargeable humidifier fan handheld air cooler operated desk USB battery. And the battery does come with it. Uh, there's a picture here of a young woman spraying herself with water and presumably fanning herself. Um, I paid $13.99. Oh, and it's gone down in price. It's only $12.59 now. Uh, free shipping. That came from Clever Bright, who have 100% feedback. So, uh, yeah, I'm liking my uh, two speed fan with water spray atomizer pizza electric thing. Um, just not sure that pink was such a good idea. Maybe I won't go for pink next time. Cheerio.